All right, these are on the ground. Uh, unfortunately, the weather has not been well enough for me to get my equipment in to finish. These are about the last, I don't know, maybe five of them um, out of the 30 that were originally pushed over earlier in the spring. And again, I like to bring the kids here to show them Number one, how important the cemetery is, and number two, how easy it is. These things are stacked like dominoes on top of each other. They're not cemented down. They're, they're not difficult to push over. And I know every one of you, you know, would, does appreciate the cemetery. So I do the tours mainly for the kids to get them to want to come into the cemetery because they're the next generation after us that are going to have to take care of this. These are delicate uh, simply by bumping into them you can push them over you can get hurt even killed on them so when you know when you do come in um, and I, I know you guys do I'm often to the kids tour but um, you know we want as much respect here as possible I have about 36,000 people buried there and uh, every, even in unmarked graves and every one of them deserves to can they be pins put in there to... No, I've got, I've got a, uh, a company that when the uh, kids came through and did this, they contacted me and I purchased a bond bonding material that when we put these back up, we're going to glue them back up. It's what someone just a little bit older than you guys did to the cemetery earlier this spring. They pushed over about 30 headstones, okay? It is not difficult. You guys can push this over very easily. In the state of Utah, a gentleman was in an old cemetery like this one, and he had a six-year-old son along with him. And he pointed over to one of them, he said, go stand over by that one over there so I can get a picture of you by that really interesting looking headstone. And the six year old went over there and put his hand on it and unbeknownst to him, it was loose and it fell on him oh, no. and it crushed him and it killed him. Oh, no. Okay, right in front of his father's eyes. I hope that when you go into the next cemetery that you remember that that's someone's mother, brother, father, sister, aunt, uncle, something. Somebody put that there because they wanted their family member to be remembered. And for someone to come along and do this, it's not cool. Yes? What about this one? That's probably a small headstone that eventually over the years has sank down into the ground. Probably because it got too it got it's probably a baby uh, grave right there. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Over the years I know how it got I know all right, how follow, it follow me.